So I'm going to show you an easy solution to have all the ammo you can carry. So you decided you want a shotgun for everyday use. Problem is, they don't hold much. This particular gun here is 4 plus 1. This is a Maverick 88. Brand new. Haven't shot it yet, by the way, which is a crying shame. The only prob the problem is they're limited to ammo capacity. Now, this particular one here is 4 plus 1. You can put side saddles on them. You can put the socks that go over the end. So this is not new. I mean, it's, it's new to me. I'm not sure why I've not seen this before. But if we have a look here, I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds on Velcro. The reason I went with seven rounds is because if you've got a plate carrier that holds AR mags, this is roughly the same size. So this will fit right in the pouch. You can go one, two, three, four. My uh, plate carrier is not here yet, so we're pretending. One, two, three, four. And you can also get plate carriers that will open up in behind there where you can put extra mags there as well. I'm going to show you how to make these cards. Now, truth be told, I went on Amazon to try and find them because they were cheap. They were uh, $15 for two cards. The problem is I live in Canada. For some reason, Amazon won't ship to Canada. Don't ask me why they just won't ship to Canada. I tried to buy batteries for this camera that I'm shooting on right now. Won't ship to Canada. Tried to buy batteries for my GoPro. Won't ship to Canada. Tried to buy blades for my drone won't ship to Canada. These won't ship to Canada. So I decided I'm going to try and make them myself. It worked and I'm going to show you how I did it. And I saw some cards, you know, tan, green, black cards on Amazon. Some were $15.99 for two cards, $10 for one card, depending on where you're going to get them from, but nobody would ship them to Canada. I'm not quite understanding when you go on Amazon.ca but there is no shipping to CA. Anyway, let's go over to the bench here and I'm going to show you how to make your own. Here we go. First thing I did was I went to Michael's and I bought this Velcro. Made by Velcro. It's not an off brand. It's made by Velcro. It says it holds up to 10 pounds. They show your shovel and some other things. I don't know about that, but still it says it holds up to 10 pounds. I paid $19 for this. And as you can see, it comes with both. Now, having already made some, I know how long to cut it. The other thing you're going to need is an ammo belt, a shotgun belt. Now, whether it's 20 gauge, 16 gauge, 12 gauge, it's up to you. It's whatever you shoot. I shoot 12 gauge, so that's what I'm going to use. I bought this Allen shotgun shell belt. I paid, I think it was $20 for this. So in total, I'm sitting here at about 40 bucks. And I've got three of these out of one. So this will be $80. I'll have six of them for $80 bucks by the time I'm done. So we're going to cut that off there. I clean the edges up with a knife when I'm done. I count over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I cut up the middle of the eighth. What that's going to do, that's going to leave me a little bit of room. So what we're going to do is, it's up to you whether you want whether you want this side on the shells or on the gun I don't I think it's irrelevant I don't think it really matters I put the loop side on here only because if there's nothing on there it looks cleaner that's the only reason I put that on there okay so here we are I'm not going to need this piece here only because I've already got one on there I'm going to set that aside I'm going to take this piece here Roughly figure out where we're at. Take your scissors. Cut that off. Now again, we're just cutting this rough size. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to trim everything up nice when we're done here. Card upside down. Not sure what kind of glue solution it is, but if they say it's going to hold up to 10 pounds, it should be able to hold seven shotgun shells. All right, so we peel the back off. Is 
Set that on there. Score it up as nice as you can. Start at one end, work your way to the other. Now obviously we're going to trim some of the uh, sticky portion off here. It wasn't exactly square. It would be my fault. So it wasn't exactly centered. So we're just going to cut that off of there. Tried cutting with a knife. That didn't work too well. And there you have it. With the belcher on the back, shell holder on the front. Once it's loaded up, whether it's sitting in your carrier or just loose in a box, you take it off and away you go. You try to get it as straight as you can, but whether you have brass up or brass down, the choice is going to be yours. I would imagine over time that the elastic is going to wear, which is why I don't leave all these loaded. I might leave one loaded up, but the rest of them are going to sit empty just like this one here. For the reason being is the elastic is going to become stationary to where it is and it's going to be prone to failure. The other thing is, I haven't tried it yet, is if you have brass down, this is all going to matter on how you load your gun, whether you're going to load it from the, from the underside or from the top side. When the elastic begins to wear out over time and you have the brass down, the round will eventually work its way out and hit the ground. Just gravity is kind of what happens. I like to keep mine with the brass up. Reason being is I like to load from the underside, so when I come up under here with the round, I then just go forward and chamber it. My preference, your preference might be different. Again, $20 worth of Velcro. I can get four cards out of this. And I cut up ammo belt from Allen. This is not sponsored. Neither one of these companies know I'm doing this. I bought the ammo belt at Canadian Tire here in Canada, here in Ontario. And I bought the Velcro from Michaels in Ontario. Again, $20. $19, so 40 bucks for three cards. I end up with four cards, so 40 bucks for four cards. You would have considered the shipping I would have paid on Amazon. Probably worked out to about the same. I just had to make it myself, that's all. The one thing I will say is the ones that you see on the internet that you get on Amazon have a loop on the end here. Okay. Reason for that is if you have a loop on the end, when the card runs dry, you grab the loop. You're not trying to get your finger in there to get to get the card off. You just grab that loop, peel it off, drop it on the ground, grab another one, slap it on. I need to get my wife to sew some loops onto my cards. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you got something out of that. Like I said, it's an easy way to carry extra ammo. One thing I forgot. So if I got four plus one, there's five. Another seven is twelve. You can also put Velcro on this side here. That'll give me 19. Just on the gun, it'll give me 19. And the plate carrier, if it holds four, that'll give me another 21. That's not too bad. It's an easy way to make shotgun and a little more fun. And you can reload a lot quicker, but you got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Anyway, all right, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all got something out of that. You can't go wrong, and it might help you stay in the fight as well. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. That's your tip of the day. Thanks.